what a good running session. Yeah, we really push ourselves today. It's time to get a cup of bubble tea. Eh, I thought you're trying to control your blood sugars. After exercise, need to replenish fluid, right? If you're looking to replenish your fluids, you should go for sugar-free drinks. Do you know that one third of Singaporeans exceed their daily sugar intake by 20%? And half of this sugar comes from packaged drinks. It is recommended that we should keep our daily intake to not more than 10 teaspoons of sugar a day. When we consume too much sugar, it is converted into fat and stored in the body. This will increase our risk of weight, obesity, diabetes, and fatty liver. The simple sugars will also cause a rapid spike in our blood sugar levels. How should I reduce my sugar with drinks? Come, let me show you. sugar intake in your drinks. A regular can of soft drink has up to 40 grams of sugar. A lower sugar alternative would be a diet soft drink which will give you the same sweet taste but with no sugar at all. A regular sweetened packaged tea has about 50 grams of sugar per bottle. You may find reduced sugar or less sugar options which have a slightly lesser amount of sugar but the best option will be no sugar added teas as there will be zero sugar in it. When ordering coffee from the coffee shop, a normal cup of kopi which adds condensed milk is equivalent to 4 teaspoons of sugar. Instead of this, you may want to go for kopi siu tai, which has one less teaspoon of sugar. Or even better, I know, I know, kopi o kosong or kopi si kosong, which has no sugar added. Yes, you're getting it. Oh, coconut shake. I can see that this is your favorite. There are many people who love to drink coconut milkshake and bubble tea these days, but do you know that one large size 100% sugar coconut milkshake or milk tea with pearls contains about 11 teaspoons of sugar? Just by downsizing to regular size, you will be able to cut off 3 teaspoons of sugar. But if you want your coconut fix, the best is to switch to regular coconut water which is naturally sweet and only 2 teaspoons of sugar. Oh, I don't mind to have coconut water. I can even partial freeze it for the same slushy texture. That's creative. Can you then figure out how else to reduce sugar intake from bubble tea then? Apart from downsizing and choosing the lower sugar level option? Hmm, I think another great way is to work on the toppings. You're absolutely right. Nowadays, toppings can be added into either bubble tea or coconut shake. As the toppings are usually soaked in syrup and contain sugar, it is best to go for no toppings at all. On days you feel like adding a topping, you may want to choose the 0% sugar option and opt for a maximum of one topping. Another thing to note is that different toppings have varying amounts of sugar. If you choose to include toppings, Consider choosing the lower sugar options such as Ayu Jelly, Grass Jelly, Konjac Jelly or Aloe Vera instead of Ice Cream, Red Bean or Tapioca Pearls. That's informative. What about fruit-based tea? Fruit-based tea often have sugar or syrup added. You can still enjoy the drink by choosing the 0% sugar option. Since we are on the topic of fruit drinks, do you know that fruit juice is commonly mistaken as a healthy drink and one cup has about 4 teaspoons of sugar? No, I don't. I always thought it's good with all vitamins and minerals in it, especially those freshly squeezed ones. Yes, 
but fruit juice has more sugar and no fibre, hence it is more beneficial to go for a serving of fresh fruit instead. The sugar in fresh fruits is also absorbed slower due to its fibre content, and the fibre helps to regulate bowel movement as well as blood sugar and cholesterol levels. Thank you for sharing your tips to me. Now I know how to reduce sugar in my drinks. It's almost lunch time. Let's go to get some food. Sure. Hey, I have always thought sweet and sour pork can taste sweet too. Is it considered added sugar? That's a good question. Actually, there are many foods out there that contain hidden sugar. And what I mean by this is that the food may not necessarily taste sweet, but it in fact contains quite a significant amount of sugar. This is easier to forget some savoury food do contain sugars. What are the other options also high in added sugar? Most gravies contain sugar. Some examples include lor mee, mee siam, mee rebus, and char siu rice or duck rice. To reduce your sugar intake in noodles, Remember to leave the gravy behind. For rice dishes, don't add the gravy at all. Similar to gravy, sauces can contain quite a lot of sugar as well. Do any dishes come to mind? You may have thought of dishes like chi chong fan, bibimbap, and the dipping sauces when eating western food. One way to reduce the amount of sauce and sugar consumed is to ask for the sauce on the side so that you can control the amount and use less of the sauce. What about foods already sweet? Like sweet and sour dishes, black carrot cakes and even sweet bun. Although it's okay to have these foods once in a while, you can consider choosing lower sugar alternatives. For sweet and sour dishes, there are plenty of other options that you can choose. Stir-fry soya sauce chicken and sliced fish with ginger are just a few of the many options. For black carrot cake, you can simply swap for white carrot cake. For buns with sweet fillings, you can consider choosing the plain buns or those with savoury fillings such as tuna or cheese. Those are very useful tips. Next time, I will remember to order soya sauce chicken rather than sweet and sour pork. I hope I'm able to remember all this information as well. No worry, here's a summary of what we have talked about today. To reduce sugar intake and have a sweeter life, pick drinks with the least amount of sugar, reduce gravy and sauces, and swap for lower sugar food options. Thank you for watching. Please kindly help to provide us feedback for this video and future content by scanning the QR code or click on the survey link located in the description box down below.